Watch this video to learn how to install the Robotique Palletizing Solution PE Series. Here's a list of the tools you will need to install the palletizing solution. Robotique provides these items. You'll also need a few tools that are not included with the solution. Moving the solution. Whenever you need to move the solution, you can use the set of casters that come provided. First, you will need to install the casters. Screw in the four corner bolts to lift the solution, as shown here. Next, screw the four casters into the base. Unscrew the corner bolts to set the solution down on its casters. Caution! Do not use the solution while it is on casters. To make the solution stand upright, simply screw in the four corner bolts again, remove the casters, and unscrew the corner bolts. Installing the robot. The following steps require at least two people. Note that a UR10 is required for installation, which is not included with the solution. Start by running the cable through the inner pedestal section and pull the cable out at the bottom of the pedestal. Then, place the robot on the robot base plate so that the back of the robot, the side with the notch to let the power cable through the robot base, is oriented towards the front of the solution, towards the Robotique controller. Align them with the two dowel pins which are already installed on the robot base. Secure the robot using four M8 by 25 millimeter screws and Belleville washers and tighten to a torque of 20 Newton meters. Adjusting the pedestal height. With the PE series, you can adjust the pedestal manually. You want to position the pedestal at the right height for your pallet configuration. If you will be using several different configurations, the best practice is to find a height that will correspond to all of them. This will keep you from having to manually change the pedestal height during production. Caution! You will need at least two people to perform these installation steps, since the weight is approximately 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. Before starting the installation, Determine the height required based on your pallet and package configuration. If you don't know the optimal position for your configuration, you can use the Robotique configurator to simulate your palletizing cell and figure out the exact height required. When you're ready to adjust the pedestal, make sure the robot arm is folded in as much as possible. Unscrew the six screws that hold the pedestal in place, starting with the two screws on the right side. Using the handles on the robot base plate, pull the plunger latch. Lift the inner pedestal section until it reaches the desired height. Release the plunger latch when you're satisfied with the position of the pedestal. Note, the height markers on the left side of the inner pedestal section display the actual height at which the robot arm stands. After it's adjusted, secure the pedestal position. Screw the four screws at the front with a 15 Newton meter torque. Then the two screws at the back, again with a 15 Newton meter torque. Installing the push button enclosure and teach pendant rack. The post that holds the teach pendant rack and push button enclosure is designed to be attached to the palletizing solutions base or anchored to the ground. You can also position it elsewhere, although the final position is dependent on cable length. 10 meter cable extensions are available as an option for the push button enclosure and status lights. For this demonstration, we will attach the components to the base. To do so, screw the post at the front of the base using two M6 by 20 millimeter screws and washers. Unscrew the screws that hold the status lights in place. Orient the lights so they stand upright. Then tighten the screws. Caution, do not invert the light order, left-right. These lights indicate the status of the pallet that is closest to each of them. 
Routing the cables. First remove the cover plates. Installing and connecting the controller. Install the UR controller and secure it using four M12 screws. Connect the power output cable of the Robotik controller to the UR controller. Connect the robot arm's power output cable to the socket on the UR controller. If required, Connect the teach pendants cable to the corresponding socket on the UR controller. Connect the USB hub to a USB port. Connect the Ethernet USB converter cable to a USB port. Connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet USB adapter. Centering the solution. A key step in the installation process is making sure the solution is properly centered. Centering must be done before installing the AirPick vacuum gripper. The goal is to align the column with the base by placing the robot wrist at a specific position at the same time as it touches the side of the base. Unscrew each of the four screws that secure the column into the base by half a turn. Warning, do not unscrew the screws completely. Unscrew them only by a half turn so that you can change the column orientation. Rotate the column counterclockwise as much as possible. Position the robot so that the wrist is on the outer left side of the base as shown here. Move the robot so the robot tool flange is parallel to the ground. Change the feature reference to base. And modify the tool position as follows. Rx equals 0 degrees. Ry equals 180 degrees. Rz equals 0 degrees. Modify the tool position X value, base reference, to 333.35 millimeters. Also, make sure the TCP is set to zero. Rotate the column clockwise so that the side of the robot wrist touches the side of the base. Tighten the four screws to secure the column into the base. Tighten to a torque of 50 Newton meters. On the teach pendant, Validate that the X value is still 333.35 millimeters. Put the robot back in its position of use. Installing the AirPick Vacuum Gripper. Now we can install the AirPick Vacuum Gripper, its accessories, and the cable routing system. First, power on the robot and rotate the joints as described in the table below. Once that is done, shut down the robot. If more reach is needed, install the extra reach gripper bracket on the robot tool flange using four M6 screws and tooth lock washers and align it with the dowel pin. Important, only install the bracket if necessary. Consult the configurator to find out if it is needed in your case. Using four M6 screws and tooth lock washers, secure the coupling on the robot tool flange or on the extra reach gripper bracket. Mount the vacuum gripper on the gripper coupling align with the dowel pin. Secure the vacuum gripper by inserting the M5 screws and tooth lock washers.
if the two or four suction cups bracket is needed. Align the flat surface on the manifold with the shoulder of the vacuum generator. Secure the manifold by inserting screws and tooth lock washers in a cross pattern to properly compress the O-ring of the generator. Insert each suction cup with an O-ring into an air node. Tighten the cups by hand. To finish the installation, change the robot position. Refer to the table below for the exact position of every joint. Once the robot is set in the desired position, attach the IGUS TriFlex R-Series cable routing system to the robot, as demonstrated here. Using a 5mm hex key, secure the elbow collar assembly, the larger collar, to the arm. Account for the orientation and distance from the elbow, D2. Clip the mounting bracket of the elbow collar assembly on the cable carrier. Using a 5mm hex key, secure the wrist collar assembly, the smaller collar, to the arm. Account for the orientation and distance from the wrist, D1. If you use the extra reach bracket, make sure to first run the coupling cable through the second hole of the bracket. Connect the coupling cable to the connector visible at the end of the cable carrier. Install IGUS R-Lock clips at both ends of the cable carrier. Clip the mounting bracket of the wrist collar assembly on the cable carrier. Align the bracket with the sticker shown in the previous chart. Use cable ties to attach the tubing and cable to the strain relief part of the mounting bracket. Be sure not to crush the tubing or cable with the cable ties. Cut the air tube to the right length past the plastic strain relief, 815 millimeters or 32 inches. Insert the air tube in the air pick port. Insert the safety clip. Use dry and filtered air only. We recommend using a local pressure regulator with a filter and air dryer. For more information, refer to the Robotique e-learning course on air supply management. Use the spiral cable sleeve to keep the air tube and coupling cable together. Connect the other end of the air tube to your local air supply device. Caution, the maximum pressure allowed is seven bar. The optimal pressure is seven bar. Shut down the robot and power off the Robotique controller. Connecting the air pick gripper and co-pilot. Now that the air pick gripper is installed, let's connect the components. First, connect the co-pilot license dongle to the USB hub in the UR controller. It must be connected at all times. Run the gripper's coupling cable to the UR controller. Connect the white, green, and bare wires to the Robotique RS485 signal converter, as shown in the figure below. Also connect the red 24V and black 0V wires to the terminal blocks of the robot controller. Now, let's connect the push-button enclosure cables to the controller. Optionally, and depending on your application, you can connect the stranded wires of the cable corresponding to the restart and pause buttons of the push button enclosure to the UR controller. If you need to connect it, refer to this diagram. Warning, the button signals are not redundant. Since they are actual pause and restart commands, they should not be construed as safeguarding devices. Installing and connecting the box sensor. Run the box sensor's cable through a hole under the UR controller. Connect the brown 24V, blue 0V, and black digital input wires to the corresponding connectors in the terminal blocks. Install the box sensor on the bracket that best suits your setup with the provided screws. Position the box sensor's bracket so it can detect the box to be picked. Connect the M8 connector of the box sensor's cable to the sensor, anchoring the solution. 
if you use the anchors provided with the solution. They should be installed in 28 megapascals, 4000 PSI, undamaged concrete, minimum. If you choose to use other anchors, each anchor should be able to withstand, at a minimum, the following forces, considering that the fastener's rated values are 25% of the ultimate value. The solution must be placed on a flat and leveled floor, otherwise use shims to level it. Before choosing a final position, double check that your layout is correct and that all distances are respected. Once you are sure about the final position, drill the six holes with the provided drill bit. Place the anchors into the holes and fasten the nuts flush to the screw. Bang the anchors in place. Secure the solution by screwing the six nuts to a torque of 54 Newton meters. Powering on the solution. Now that the installation and connection steps are completed, we're ready to power on the system. Start by reinstalling the base covers using the provided screws. Then, install the pedestal cover using the provided screws. Connect the power cable to the power outlet. Power on the Robotique controller and the robot. Your Robotique PE Series palletizing solution is now ready to run. <laughs>